हेलो फ्रेंड दिल्ली पांडे शो में आपका स्वागत है दोस्तों हाल ही में हमने पवन कल्याण का एक इंटरव्यू अनुपमा चोपड़ा के साथ देखा था उसका हमने पार्ट वन एक्चुअली कवर किया था तो दोस्तों हमें वो बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग लगा था बहुत कुछ जानने मिला था उनके बारे में और हमने देखा कमेंट सेक्शन में कुछ कुछ लोगों ने कमेंट भी किया कि इसका पार्ट टू भी जितना जल्दी हो सके रिलीज करने के लिए उस पर अपना रिएक्शन देने के लिए तो दोस्तों आइए उनका जो पार्ट टू था इंटरव्यू का वो पार्ट भी देख लेते हैं आइए दोस्तों this is happening my film has done this or his film has done that does that ever come into your mind i know for jealous insecure never insecure ever no <laughs> no that's amazing because i felt i feel very contented for whatever god has given me and uh, i think it will be successful that's what i believe and also it's nice to have competition i get irritation at one point of time is when people try to do the same thing to me i said in which i'm causing insecurity to feel insecure about me as well we are 365 days there's so much business can happen in 365 days it's just mine is just only one day if you're proud of it what are you doing work is good you work and now after this film releases after sardar kabar singh releases on it what are the plans do you do you make plans do you plan like one month two months ahead or nothing? no no right now uh because of i don't know I know uh, I went through a lot of uh, different kind of uh, situations in my personal life and professional life. I have a name, but if I don't do films I can't sustain myself. So my first priority right now is uh, how to sustain myself. <laughs> I plan for a few films, two three films after mm-hmm. that. So we'll see you come back to screen like two, sooner. Three, yeah, two three films after that I'm going to I'm going to give up for. So. Give it up. I'll give it up. Yeah. Why? <laughs> That's a commitment I made to myself. Uh, <laughs> when? I just uh, I made long back, not today. Long back. I, made it. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. like uh, mm-hmm. to when the film is starting. Just but it. but you could do a few in a. I mean, you know, space it out. Why give it up? If I get into politics, I want to give my complete attention to politics. Mm-hmm. The next elections, I'm going to. Mm-hmm. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. And what will happen to the Pavanists? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm taking bigger responsibility. <laughs> I prefer this is real, and that film always there are a lot of other people who can entertain and who can make me shine. This is what my DNA and my heart is saying. I don't like to get scared and intimidated, and uh, I prefer I like the quality of fearlessness. But I give it a thought. Even to get into politics, it was not something overnight. I was uh, no, it was not that. It is right from around twenty uh, years. I was thinking right from my childhood. I used to want to read, read comics or something. That's the nature. But I used to read headlines. I said, "What's happening?" Maybe I was uh, inspired by a lot of uh, social work. You know, social uh, what happens in the freedom struggle. Maybe I think that that maybe I had a good uh, social teacher. I think it was there. It's not something like because I became an actor, I adopted politics. Mm-hmm. Not that. It's there even before that. Even when I'm filming, something star. You know, read a newspaper that opens up. I said, "This is it." Constantly, some kind of uh, a voice tells you. No, you are a timid fellow. You can't do it. You're running away. You're running away. I can't do the voice. I read that you're a voracious reader, and you're a big consumer of world cinema. So yes, I do watch, but not to that extent. Kind of binge watching, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you named your son Akira after the great Kurosawa. Yeah, mm. I, he. I don't know. Somehow I fell in love with his films. I love with the Kurosawa. Uh, Kurosawa. 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 everything put it in the right uh, dosage and right uh, for percentage it's killing sometimes sometimes when i look at any western film or the hollywood film it's the thought process is very clear they want to do this kind of film it ends there but this is our system 
and whoever keeps on feeding it in a new perspective, I think they get the glory. <laughs> but you try to do that with, with your... But it's very tiring, very tiring. Even for me, even to do, it's very tiring. <laughs> but out of necessity, you push yourself to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you take such long breaks between movies? Yeah, I go crazy. Because sometimes, you know, every time to uh, shave and do this makeup, little coloring, <laughs> yeah. it's so annoying for me. That's, that's why I grow my beard and just lay <laughs> So when you're not filming, your beard is grown and yeah, you're on your farm? I wish I had that luxury to grow beard. <laughs> I recently had uh, one point of time, I think, I was, uh, two, one and a half year back. And after that, I, six months I didn't shave. Just, uh, oh, I I mean, grow. Mm. <laughs> that's why I like a lot of politics, so you don't have to <laughs> do anything. You just speak. <laughs> Just speaking is enough. Oh, it's such a comfort, you know, you don't have to really dress up that, <laughs> <laughs> like, so just go. <laughs> Whatever your heart says, believe in it, say it, that's what it is there. <laughs> but when you're not filming, what do you do in those long gaps that you take? Long gaps, uh, first of all, I read. Recently, I was uh, talking about uh, land acquisition. So, for almost for one week, ten days, I was right from the old act, British act, I was reading everything. So, I was trying to understand it with my first time experience. In that way, depending on the need. So I, you get obsessed with something? When I get obsessed with uh, something, I'm into it. <laughs> so I want to understand completely. I want to have my own opinion. So in the cinema space, you're very content. But in the social sphere, obviously there's a lot you want to see done. What is the one thing you could change if you could, if you would change, if you could do it tomorrow? I really focus on uh, law and order and on uh, agriculture. So the two things. Which I, Really, my, uh, what my heart goes for. And Mr. Kalan, do you have any regrets? Are there any things you wish you hadn't done? Whatever I did, whatever the uh, outcome, I did it consciously. So that's why I don't have regrets. And you take full responsibility? I take full responsibility. And I don't, whatever it is, in the future also, I don't shy away, I don't run away, and I face the responsibility. I do it consciously. So two, three films and... and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the cinema shops shuts and the political... Yeah, but, yeah, but uh, what I want to do is I want to write uh, uh, stories and screenplays. And that too, it's also, it, mm -hmm. I need some kind of uh, way of life, way of making money to sustain myself. And to act, it would take a lot of time. To direct, it would take a lot of time. To write, at least in my free times, I can write. What would you like to be remembered as or by? Do you think about your legacy? I don't believe in legacy because uh, so many people had come and gone, like I said. Uh, I never believe in legacy. And you don't think about, you know, what you leave behind or the impact you have? Clearly you do. For me, I like this, every day I tell myself uh, like this, do your duty and disappear. <laughs> do your duty and disappear. Do your duty and disappear. <laughs> so whether it's a legacy or not, that's not your problem. Mm. And consciously, for instance, try like let you feed his uh, legacy in a sense. Okay, an ideological legacy, or there are, or, or even a, a film wise, even for example, an ideological legacy. I said, is there any need for to create a religion? Of religion? Is there for me some when they call communism? I said, sometimes you can't understand truly. Right? Is there any need for it? First of all, my question is that is there any need for it? There are enough uh, isms out there, and I mean, you know, <laughs> your mind, you said, there's one more, that's all. But I, I don't have a, a strength or right to say, please don't think that way. This is what my opinion is. And, uh, and when it comes to legacy, you know, as an actor, if my kids are there, I want them to really work for themselves. I want them to own because my father had never given me anything. My father had given me the basics, and he told me, okay, be on your own. I feel that legacy should be owned. Not be, can't be given. So, because of legacy, a lot of issues are there in our country. In the right of politics, <laughs> no. the part is there. The legacy also, but sometimes undeserved people also. Just because of legacy. Undeserved. <laughs> Maybe for that reason, I don't want to be a part of it. That's the reason I consciously choose myself not to have the thought. <laughs> yeah, constant. This, this I tell every day. This is my mantra. Do your duty and listen. It's a great mantra, and I think uh, most of us should be on our duty. Okay, it's difficult, man. <laughs> but in the process of doing duty, you get uh, 
emotional about it. You get more about it. You do, and you also, not just the emotional about it, because when I think most normal people, the, you get invested in the result. तो ये पार्ट भी अच्छा इंटरेस्टिंग था नहीं बहुत कुछ फिर से जानने मिला इसमें लाइक like, अब ये उस टाइम का बात है गब्बर सिंह का कि वो प्लान किए थे कि टू थ्री और मूवीज के बाद स्टॉप ही कर देंगे पूरा पॉलिटिक्स में ही चले जाएंगे एंड कुछ भी राइट करेंगे शायद वो स्क्रीन प्ले वैसा कुछ कुछ लिखने का प्लान था बट होपफुल अभी तो वापस आ रहे हैं फोर ईयर्स के बाद वापस तो आ रहे हैं लगातार हाँ पी एच पी ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट अभी आइए लेटेस्ट तो ये है जो पिंक का रिमेक ऑफिशियल रिमेक वकील साहब वो है और उसपे हम दिए थे ना उसका मोशन पोस्टर पे अपने रिएक्शन दिए थे तीनों का और इसमें लेकिन सबसे बेस्ट लाइन लगा वो ही डू योर ड्यूटी एंड डिसअपियर टू गुड लाइन है मैंने नहीं मैंने जो एक्चुअली वो लेगेसी है उन लोग का कि ऐसा है कि आ, उनका होल फैमिली सेवन जनरेशन भी फूड खा सकता है ऐसे जो बोलते हैं कि उनका लेगेसी में चल सकता है बट वो बोल रही थी खुद का लेगेसी खुद ही ओन करना है ऐसा नहीं कि उसका जो जैसे आकीरा के बारे में बोल रहे हो उसको खुद ही अपना काम करके खुद ही कमाना है खुद ही करना है वैसा तो वो भी अच्छा लगा है ना थॉट प्रोसेस जो है और क्लियर भी है सोसाइटी को वापस बहुत कुछ देने का मैंने ये है उनका मन है कितना लॉ एंड ऑर्डर एग्रीकल्चर पे बोल रहे वो उनको बहुत ज्यादा फोकस करने का उनका मन है बहुत कुछ जानने मिला तो अच्छा था एक तरह से इंटरव्यू है ना मजा आया एक देख के मतलब एक लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस जैसा भी था कि क्या क्या ठीक है क्या नहीं है एंड क्या करना चाहिए हमें अच्छा तो ठीक है दोस्तों आपको ये पवन कल्याण का जो पार्ट टू हमने वीडियो देखा है आपको कैसा लगा ये इंटरव्यू का पार्ट हमको बताइएगा आप क्या सोचते हैं उनके बारे में वो भी हमको जरूर बताइएगा हमको तो बहुत अच्छा लगा उनके बारे में जानने के लिए ठीक है दोस्तों फिर अगले वीडियो में मिलते हैं तब तक के लिए अलविदा टेक केयर बाय